Hey guys, I'm back with another Nerf gun painting video, and today I'm going to be painting the Nerf Strife. Just recently I modded it, so now I can pull the trigger whenever, even though if there's no magazine. But one thing I try to do so I can rev no matter what, but you have to duct tape something, and it wouldn't duct tape because my stuff wouldn't work. So. What I was thinking is I was gonna paint the base black, then have green details like on the white and on all the details, like there's some almost like squares so it'd look like a gun from the matrix. And the thing is, I don't have Ethan with me. And so it's gonna be my first ever Nerf gun blaster that I painted by myself. So I'll see you once I've prepared the gun ready for painting. My town, trust me, on my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustling, chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track bussin' halfway across that city with the back, 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 back question. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give that to the people, spread it across the country. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give it to the. So I just finished unscrewing the strife. Got all my screws in there. Wait a second. Ooh, there's a screw there, and I didn't get it. That's bad. That's very, very bad. Oh right, well, one screw gone doesn't mean much. Oh well, if that affects me, then oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of this, then I'll take apart all the inside. See, this is what I was talking about with the tape. From the mod, you're supposed to tape it back so then you can just rev it whenever. But that thing kept on sliding open, so duct tape when it's all. So I'm gonna take apart all the insides and then I'll get to you preparing the paint set. I'm sorry if the lighting's bad in here. I can't film outside because it's windy. Vlog exception. Okay, I'm back. I just finished unscrewing all of the Nerf guns. There it is. Inside on the table. Putting them back, this is going to be fun. And so, I'm going to have to have a bag over some of the insides because there's a weird thing. So, the, the flywheels are physically like taped, in, or not taped, like built into the shell. So, I'm going to be starting out with green. I got these uh, cans of paint at my local Home Depot. And yeah, I'll do a time lapse of us painting the gun. We just finished letting the green paint dry. We put two coats on it. Now we are going to do the Okay, so we just finished with the green coat. We did uh, an extra coat because there was a lot of orange showing and we are going to be adding the black now. Hey guys, so the paint's done drying. There's the shell and I'll show you what the final product looked like. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, my hands are covered in paint. So I'm going to put this mess back. And I'll see you guys when I'm done. Hey, after nine, wait, what's this after? Seven hours, I can't count. I finally finished the gun. It's still a little sticky. Still covered in paint. Gonna nail wash up a lot. I didn't, I did some of the basic mods so I can pull the trigger whenever, even if there's no magazine. But I didn't do it where you can rev it whenever, because whenever I did that, the tape would not want to stay. So yeah, I liked it. This is my first ever job, or paint job. Thanks so much, Dad, for helping me fix the insides. The wires were so tangled. It was really hard to do. I hope you liked this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.